In today's video, learn how to play your favorite Nintendo GameCube and Wii games right on your iOS devices like iPhone or iPad, supported even on iOS 26, without any jailbreak. For installing Dolphin OS, I will use the AltStore method, because as per the official website of Dolphin OS, we can use both AltStore and SideStore, or even download IPA, for manually installing the IPA file. And you can watch either of these videos for SideStore or AltStore tutorials, link in description. So, launch AltStore or SideStore and navigate to the Sources section of the app. Tap on this plus icon here and simply add the Oatmeal Domes AltStore source by tapping on this plus icon here, as shown on the video. Once done, navigate to the Browse section of the app and you will find Dolphin OS app in the list. Now simply install the app into your iOS device, like iPhone or iPad. And during the installation process, if you see this window, just approve all the permissions it asks for. Meanwhile, please like, subscribe, and hype this video. And once the installation process is over, launch the Dolphin OS app, and this is how the user interface looks like. And on the home page, and tap on this icon here, and just perform an online software update. I will select USA from the list. This may take a while, as it will download all the essentials resources for the app to run. Once the system update is completed successfully, it's time to import games. As per their official website, not all games are supported to work, so you can refer to this website, link will be in description. Now you can filter out to show only the playable games, like you can see, all these games are supposed to work flawlessly without any errors or issues. This website only shows the list of compatible games only, and nothing more. And to download games, you can look up in Google searches. Now I have already downloaded these games files, which can be in zip, or even in 7z format. And these games files needs to be extracted first, before using it. So to extract zip file, simply tap on it, and the compressed file will be extracted. It may take a while for the game to be extracted, due to its large file size. And as you can see, the game actual format is in ISO format. But to extract 7z file. First, rename the file from 7z, to zip, to changes the format of the file. Now, tap on Use Zip option, as shown. And once the file format is changed to zip file, simply tap on it, and the file will be extracted successfully like you see here. Once the game's files are extracted, go back and launch the Dolphin OS app, and tap on this plus icon here. Now locate those extracted games ISO file, and tap on it to extract the same. And the game will appear on your home screen. But when we try to launch the game, and run the game, it asks for JIT, which is necessary to run Dolphin OS smoothly and faster. So I have already made an in-depth video on JIT, even works on iOS 26, link will be in description, so do watch the video, and once the JIT setup is done, launch the Stick Debug app. And it should show ready. And then tap on Connect by App. Select Dolphin OS from the list. Automatically, Dolphin app will launch, with JIT enabled. Now simply tap on the game, and as you can see here, the game has started successfully. In case of Wii games, you have to use the combination of touch and on-screen buttons to navigate through the menus and options. And also, as you can see, it's running the GameCube game flawlessly. I am using an iPhone 11 Pro, and if you see the FPS meter, it's constantly running at 30 frames per second in GameCube games and 60 frames per second on Wii games, which is unbelievable, considering that it's running on an iPhone released in 2019. Now if you want to run PSP games on your iOS device, watch my next video, and do subscribe to my channel.